people are asking me about my status elites tweet. Um, I've been thinking a lot about status versus wealth recently. Um, and uh, the reason I've been thinking about uh, status versus wealth is because I think deep down, uh, you know, all of us want to be free. Everybody wants to be free. Nobody wants to be told what to do or how to live their life according to anybody else. And one of the, and, and kind of the easiest path to their freedom to get rid of a certain set of troubles, you know, to get rid of the money problems is money. So even though, uh, you know, most people will say they're above it or they don't need it or it's not part of happiness, uh, I don't think the world would be a worse place if we made everybody richer. Uh, and I don't mean in the sense that we double the money in their bank accounts, that's just a nominal thing, but I mean like a real thing, like if everybody had a, you know, nicer house and we could make it environmentally conscious and everybody had a nicer car and we could make an electric car uh, and everybody had, you know, uh, enough food on the table uh, and everybody had reliable, high quality internet and bandwidth, and whatever they had, if they had 2x of it, the world would be a better place. I don't think the world would be a worse place. So I think overall, uh, making everybody richer uh, and I'm not even talking about socialism, I'm not talking about redistribution. I'm just saying everybody richer uh, would be a good thing. And wealth is a positive sum game. The reason businesses work, the reason Silicon Valley works is because we can, we can get together, create a product or service, and create more value and more wealth than before we found it. So this positive sum game of capitalism, I think, gets a bad rap. Uh, and so I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to be wealthy. The problem is that people uh, you know, they, they signal against wealth. They talk about how money is the root of all evil, or they, uh, you know, say, oh, I'm beyond wealth, I don't want wealth, or they attack income inequality and so on. And a lot of this is people just status signaling. They're trying to gain status in the eyes of the tribe, saying, look, I'm looking out for the entire tribe, uh, not just the few people who are getting ahead. Uh, and what I don't like, and you know, status signal is needed to some extent. You just can't have the oligarchs run the world. Uh, you have to have other hierarchies besides a money-based hierarchy. Uh, a money-based hierarchy rather than an oligarchy. Um, so, y you know, you want other ways to order people other than oligarchy. Obviously, there are many more things that have merit. But I find that many of the others are zero-sum games. Whereas with wealth, we can all be wealthy. All of us, you know, I imagine if the entire world, imagine if everybody in the world was a hardware engineer or a software engineer. Right? I, it, just don't ask me how, but we have a magic demon who can come in and retrain everybody. Right? Is the education demon and turns everybody into an engineering level or PhD level, uh, you know, masters or a PhD level, good engineer in software, hardware, whatever you want, chemical engineering. Pick some hard science, but you know, real engineer. I guarantee you that within five years, the robots would be doing all the work in the world, and we would be living with massive wealth and abundance, and we would all be better off. Um, so why not? Why, why shouldn't we go for that? So recently I've been thinking a lot about wealth or status because one of the things that annoys me about status, and status is the currency that politicians and academics and journalists move in, it's a zero-sum game where for me to be higher status than you, you have to be lower status than me or vice versa. The, the thing I don't like about the status game is that one of the ways that they seek status is by attacking wealth. Uh, and I think it's great to basically create wealth for all of us abundance. Uh, and one of the things, you know, one of the reasons why I get on Periscope is because honestly, I want to uh, tell people whatever I know about how to make money in an ethical, honest, positive, uh, you know, non-zero-sum kind of way. Um, so that, that is a goal of mine, and uh, I've been working on a related tweet storm, but anyway. You know, someone's saying make sure only the people who own the robots see the wealth. Well, I mean, at some point, you know, something... Uh, becomes so abundant that everybody has it by default. You know, at some point, human society became so advanced that we decided to have roads and sidewalks, and now everybody benefits from roads and sidewalks, whether or not they're part of the system or not. So I would say overall, um, wealth creation, if done right, if done uh, in a non-monopolistic way, um, you know, uh, can make everybody rich. No, Jackie XP says wealth is relative. It's relative. Uh, that's not true. Um, you know, uh, you're trying to make it a zero-sum game again. Yes, it's relative in the sense that I can score it against each other. But you know, if I'm uh, you know if, if I'm a millionaire and my neighbor's a billionaire, um, we can both still drive nice cars. We can both still eat well. You know, his being a billionaire or her being a billionaire it doesn't take anything away from me. Um, so you have to get out of that relative mindset because if you get into that relative mindset, you're always going to hate people who do better than you. You're always going to be jealous, you're going to be envious of them. Uh, and, and they'll sense that when you try and do business with them. When you try and do business with somebody, and if you have any bad thoughts about them, uh, or any judgments about them, they will feel it. You know, humans are wired to kind of feel 
what the other person deep down inside feels. Uh, don't think you're so clever that you can hide it. So to the extent that you have uh, you know, distaste or malice in your heart for someone that you're trying to do business with, um, if you resent them, uh, they're not going to want to do business with you. And so literally, uh, you know, being anti-wealth will prevent you from becoming wealthy because the, you, you will not have the right mindset for it, you won't have the right spirit, and you won't be dealing with people on the right level. So be optimistic, you know, be positive. It's important. Optimists actually do better in the long run. <laughs>